How do I create? What a paralyzing thought, capable of crippling a creator, forcing one to think more, analyze more, find patterns, all to resolve one burning question. How do I create good enough? Now that's a burning question that I always struggle with and haven't really figured out yet, but seen creatives struggle on the both ends of the spectrum. On one end, they struggle to create, while on the other end, the fairly successful ones even suffer burnout after creating so much. While the answers for both categories might not be the same, I kept looking. And in this search for answers, I came across this very catchy titled, yet reasonably sound book called Still Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. The book revolves around 10 core ideas, but the one that resonated the most with me was the second idea. Don't wait until you know who you are to get started. We always have this perfect version of our imagined self somewhere in our imagined future, but the imperfect version is what we are in the present, which we think we don't fully understand yet. We wonder where our imperfections are coming from and we fear that these imperfections would stop us from being our best versions. Hence the need to understand ourselves comes first as a priority before we create something. It's something like you want to go on a road trip but you obsess over having the right tire pressure or having the right weather to drive and you just keep pushing the dates. Well, it's a good thing to be cautious and aware of the surrounding but if you don't put your foot on the gas you're never gonna get anywhere. It's the same phenomena that applies to us as well. We hold on to these ideas of finding who we are first, so hard that we can't move forward. We can't take the leap of faith in order to discover who we want to be. To quote the book, the author says, if I had waited to know who I was or what I was about before I started being creative, well, I would still be sitting and trying to figure myself out instead of making things. In my experience, it's the act of making things and doing on work that we figure out who we are. Looks like the answers are much simpler than we anticipate it to be. And in my experience, simpler the idea, the harder it is for our brains to wrap around the idea. Because all our life we've been trained to resonate with answers that are dramatic in nature. They need to be groundbreaking, mind-blowing and glass-shatteringly good. Or maybe it's just me who needs a little drama in life. Steve Jobs once said, You cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. Here's a fun little brain exercise to you guys. You need to connect all these nine dots with four straight lines without lifting your pain from the paper. This really backs up earlier Steve Jobs quote because it's really hard to connect them at first. It looks like it's impossible to solve. But once you figure it out, it's easy to connect them every single time you have to. Now that is all for this week. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and see you guys next week.